Hey, 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 my wonderful Taurus. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. My name is Kamoy. I am going to be doing your weekly reading energetically uh, for the week of March 25th to March 31st, okay? Thank you so much for clicking on this video as I am new here to YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you a little bit about myself. I am a Reiki level 2 energy healer. So I deal primarily in energy um, healing in your chakra system. Okay. So what I will be doing here on this channel is I will be tapping into your, um, your chakra energy based on your zodiac sign using my chakra deck here. All right, guys. So these videos are for encouragement, for motivation, anyone that... Um, feels they're going through a spiritual growth, a spiritual ascension that may need spiritual guidance, anyone that's an empath, a light worker, uh, anyone that just feels like they uh, are curious about the cards and the symbolic meaning of the cards, you are welcomed also, okay? I deal a lot with chakra energy because my goal is to get you to understand who you are and to get you to understand that self-mastery is key as we evolve, okay? Uh, more in this third dimensional realm. All right, my wonderful Taurus. So energetically, your signature pattern is all about I have. Okay, and that is why you are one of the most stable signs in the zodiac. Okay, you guys rule the third dimensional realm, you rule the earth. Okay, um, so you're all about I have and you're all about stability. Okay, uh, you do want to be mindful because all of that I have sometimes can be the lower vibrational end of that can be greed. Okay, now. I pull two chakra cards and then I pull a different deck of cards. And I think today we're just going to use a Zen deck. Okay, to clarify the energy and the chakras that you may need to pay attention to. All right. Um, now, let's see if I can go back and take a look at what you guys had uh, last week. Last week, I think you guys had meditation is key, but I didn't write your cards down. I should have. Um, okay. Meditation is key. That's what you, I believe your video was titled, but I didn't jot your cards down, so I apologize about that. Uh, I thought I had that in my notes. I would have liked to refer to that, but I do have your two cards for this week. Um, I will definitely try to reference that again next week. Oh, wow. You guys got some good cards coming up here, Taurus. Okay. So you guys have solar plexus energy coming up on the board today. Um, for this week, you have miracle, which is solar plexus and you have joy. Okay. What is your solar plexus energy about? Your solar plexus energy is all about your ego and your free will. Ego, free will. Okay. Um, the solar plexus energy is usually highlighted in the color yellow, hence the yellow cards, okay, hence the sun, yellow, right? Um, and this energy is what's on your mind, okay? So let me just jot down what you have this week. You have joy and you have miracle, okay? Now, when joy pops up, um, this is important because this really talks about where are you pulling your joy from? Are you pulling your joy from a uh, fear-based perspective, right? Or are you pulling your joy from a more, um, uh, I want to say higher vibrational perspective where you're dealing with, uh, your spirit versus your ego and operating out of fear. Okay. Now. You also have the solar plexus energy of miracle. So when this card shows up, you ought to tap into, uh, I want to say your magic within, where you're seeing things not as they are, but as you would desire them to unfold, okay? So, um... I'm definitely picking up maybe some type of job or financial situation with you wonderful Taurus, okay? And I can see that um, you guys, like, you guys are all about, about your coins, okay? You're all about your coins. Um, and stability is also key for you. Um, so whether it's you having a saving, um, you being able to tap into some type of gift and talent where you can create an income, um, you just being able to find creative ways to create money, okay? Um, for some of you, that is not a difficult thing, okay? Uh, especially if you have tapped into as a Taurus, um, if you have tapped into that you are a wonderful manifester and you just have the gift to do that, 
Man, ain't nothing that you guys can't manifest and create. Okay, wonderful Taurus. Now, this reading is going to be energetically for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Like I said, you want to take what you need and leave what you don't because energy is fluid. Okay, which means uh, we all have free will. So the choices and possibilities are all happening at the same time. So whichever direction you choose to go, you choose to go. Okay, um, there is no judgment or... Um, No flaws um, on this uh, channel, okay? We all have flaws, and there's no judgment because of your flaws. Um, we are all in our own unique way through our lips because we are so flawed, right? Okay, so because we're dealing with solar plexus energy today, and solar plexus energy can definitely have anxiety, anxi ang anxious energy, um, anxiety filled energy, um, um, very shy and, uh, maybe even fearful to speak your truth, right? Now, ooh, yeah, this is why joy is popping up, guys. You're not the only sign that popped up with some awareness today. Um, okay, so... We're doing a five called Diamond Pulls Taurus, okay? Now, because you have solar plexus energy on the board, that is definitely telling me that maybe some of you are worried or concerned about stuff, okay? Because this is what's on your mind. And what's on your mind mostly could be bills, could be the children, could be your lover, could be your your um your husband, you know, your friend, your foe. This is what's on your mind, okay? And if you are not paying attention to what's in your mind the opposite of joy is pain okay so what is on your mind you have the the um the power to focus on joy or pain okay you have the power to focus on miracle shit happening okay or lack happening all right uh, so this is what the solar plexus represents this represents what's on your mind are you worried about the bills your man like okay that's the type of shit that that resonates on okay now what is going on here um just based on that energy from the solar plexus there is breakthrough energy coming through so this is the justice card when the justice card pops up this is all about balance so this is like libra okay maybe you're dealing with the libra maybe you, you have libra um in your chart my wonderful taurus but there's definitely libra energy in the board which is calling for balance this is calling for you to actually make the effort and then knowing that you will be rewarded for it, okay? You're going to have to get through some shit to get to the other side. You're going to have to push through some shit, okay? And if you're not the one pushing through some shit, somebody's pushing through this energy that you've been projecting, okay? Because um, they want their joy back. Or you want your joy back. You walking in a miracle or you expect and lack, like either or. If this is not your energy, it could be the person that you're dealing with, their energy also, okay? Now, there is something internally going on that you need to be mindful of, and this is causing you some stress. This is in your second card placement, okay, guys? This is internally what's going on. And when you have the seven of fire that po pops up, this is all about um, perseverance, maybe um, challenges popping up into your life, and you have to be um, mindful that you're not competing with other people when you really should the only person that you should be in competition with is yourself and once you understand that you it, there is no competition with self you understand that you can master self then there is no reason for you to walk around feeling competitiveness okay um so this stress know that this stretch is going to bring in major change in your life because you have the hierophant this is all about determination this is all about dealing with authority and really um coming into a, a space of spiritual and moral um um growth and development where you're actually um searching for higher meaning okay uh, so that's internally what's going on. So there's shit causing you stress because there's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit changing in your life. Whatever conflict that's that's in your life, okay, um, you're gonna have to let go to totally because change is asking you to do that. Okay, whatever that stressful conflict is, you're gonna have to let that shit go. 
In your third card placement, you have um, success, okay? So it's kind of like you can see the success is coming, guys, all right? Because you're experiencing that now, but internally, this success is still causing you stress, which is going to cause change, but you need to let go totally. Yeah. Stop thinking that you have all the information. Well, this has been your theme for a couple of weeks now. Like, stop thinking you know everything. Allow yourself to go through and unfold the way, the energy. Don't go against it. Oh, boom. I'm hearing don't swim against the tide. You need to swim with the tides on this one. Okay? Check your feelings. Success is here. Uh, but you're going to have to get into the place of the hermit where you're getting your alone time. This is that meditation a lot of people is being called to. You're going to have to get in the hermit mode because, you're yeah, that mind chatter, that mind just be playing old negative shit, old negative mind loops. Okay. <sighs> Pay attention to this because you need to quiet down your mind. Get out your head so much. Meditation. You're going to have to get out your head and meditate. Yep. So you definitely have some awareness coming in because you have two of cups. So you have some awareness coming in when it pertains to love, friendship. Intimacy. Okay, Taurus, there's definitely some stuff coming in there. You want to pay attention to me not to lay back or don't get too comfortable, especially when it comes to this love and this information that's coming in. Okay, and this healing that's coming in when it pertains to how you see love, how you view love, how you interact with love, what you think love is, what you think love is not. Okay, um, there's awareness coming in. Okay. Um, and once again, whenever you see this card, like this is self mastery, breaking out of your shadow self. So out of darkness comes light. You're seeing the light, especially the light when it comes to do with love. Okay. Um, understand you can't get too comfortable. You're going to have to do the work that's necessary. Okay. For your joy and for your miracle. And this all has to do with on your mind. This is solar plexus energy here. Okay. Now, you're going to have to go with the flow, right, to take the load off, okay? Because if you're not going with the flow, the stress right here is making you feel oppressed and heavy. So you're going to have to go with the flow, okay? That's what I thought. You have emotional understanding coming in, my wonderful Taurus, okay? Because I definitely feel like this has to do with relationships. Maybe work relationship, business relationships, um, love relationships, relationships with your children. This has to do with relationships. There's changes coming in. There's major change coming in. Definitely something to do with love in the heart chakra. Um, it, it could definitely be more of an, a personal relationship with a lover, a husband or a spouse or something. Um, you want to make the effort and don't get too comfortable in how you're um, doing things, okay? But change is coming in. You're going to have to let some shit go. Um, what I'm hearing is do not let anybody steal your joy, okay? Do not let anyone steal your joy. Don't let them steal your joy is what I'm going to name this. And if you the one that's snatching people joy, then they shouldn't let you snatch their joy either. <laughs> okay? Um, yeah. You don't, you know, yep. Yeah. You don't want people to snatch your joy is what I'm hearing. Okay? Well, don't snatch anybody else's joy, right? Or you want to protect your joy, really, is what I'm hearing. Protect, protect your joy or protect your inner joy. Protect your joy. Is what I'm hearing. So that's what I'm going to name it. Protect your joy, guys. Solar plexus energy, wonderful ones. Um, okay, Taurus, I hope this video was helpful. And hopefully I kept on saying Taurus and not a different sign within this video because I've noticed I may have made that once or twice in a different video. Um, so the energy I was pulling from from this week was for my wonderful zodiac sign of Taurus and your chakras this week. Overall energy is your solar plexus. What's on your mind? Okay. You worried about bills and shit, your man and shit, your children and shit. You're going to have to start operating from your joy and operating in your faith-based miracle um, energy. 
uh, and protect your joy. That's what you're going to have to do this week. All right, my wonderful Taurus, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you do something kind for yourself, okay, guys? And I will see you in next week's reading. Come on now. Really, you're going to have to protect yourself, like seriously. Um, protect yourself. Protect your, your um, not only protect yourself, but also deal with your emotions, too. Don't suppress things. And once again, don't think that you know how everybody um is feeling or what everybody thinks because people are also governed by the same emotional energy. And if you're dealing with it, they're dealing with it too. And not all of us have the maturity um, to master our emotions. I know I have to work at it daily. Okay. All right, guys, do something kind for yourself and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.